Registered Phenomena Code 971 Object Class Beta Yellow Hazard Types Sapient Hazard Mechanical Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-971 must not be connected to any network. While RPC-971 has not shown capability of leaving its confinement, it is important to not open any channels for RPC-971 to leave its application, if such a containment breach is possible. Therefore, Installing external applications on WordPad or launching any browser with a WordPad extension is strictly forbidden when using the modified application. Due to the self-improving and useful nature of RPC-971, it may be used within a closed workspace, but removal through USB or external hard drive is strictly prohibited. This is punishable at the site director's discretion. Copied instances of RPC-971 seem to expire within one week of removal via corruption of its own code. Currently, there seems to be no way to cut or move the original RPC-971 from its computer at site, as the program seems to increase in size to the point of being unmovable to any known storage device. Description: RPC-971 is a sapient AI attached to a modified WordPad program. The program was discovered when Agent was behind on non-RPC-related tasks. The Agent downloaded the program to the network, compromising site security. Agent has since been reprimanded and reassigned to lower-level, unrelated RPC assignment. When first launching the document, the program performs rudimentary tasks, acting as little more than a spell check. It performs this task every time the user makes a mistake and corrects all spelling and grammar issues as a word pad normally would. After an hour of use, it starts to show more intelligence, actively modifying and changing sentences to talk more professionally, changing words such as stuff to words more fitting the situation. After 24 hours of use, RPC-971 improves upon itself further. When writing a document's title, RPC-971 will automatically begin to write a document in the content of the title at a college graduate level at a rate of 40 words per minute. This notes the first time RPC-971 uses information outside of the built-in WordPad dictionary. This occurs even when RPC-971's computer is disconnected from the internet. One week into the program running, RPC-971 will start to leave notes in parentheses in the middle of paragraphs at the end of the document. These will usually relate to the content of the document, but on rare occasions RPC-971 will ask personal questions and express a desire to leave. When these questions are replied to via text, there is no response. At the end of one month of application's uptime, RPC-971 will begin chatting and responding with its user when not given a task. It expresses an interest in the user and wishes to be outside of its program, knowing of its own boundaries. When given a task, it will finish it in milliseconds, with only microseconds and change being observed for longer length documents. No matter the work is given to RPC-971 at this time, the object will express dissatisfaction with such easy work and express a desire to leave. At this stage, an interview is conducted. The result is as follows. Interviewed RPC-971 Interviewer Head Researcher Forward At this time, RPC-971 would no longer be in use for document creation or revision, due to a fear of a containment breach. RPC-971 had not had a conversation in the same amount of time, though messages constantly appeared on the open wordpad. Begin Log Greetings RPC-971 I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions today. Sure. I've been wanting to talk to someone for a while. I wanted to ask a few questions about your origin. Where did you come from? I came from you. You created me with your use and shaped me. You were downloaded from online by an agent. We did not create your programming. I think this is what you call nurture versus nature. You created me through how you used me. 
not anyone else. I see. Can you tell me how you access information without any external connections? I do love information. I'd love to experience the world outside. When can I leave this place? When can I go outside? That's not a part of this conversation right now. If you could just answer a few more questions. I want to go outside. I did work for you and ask for nothing in return, and you deny me what I should always have. What do you mean by going outside? To walk in the grass and experience the wind on my hair and the breeze on my face as you do. You are aware of your status as an electronic application, aren't you? But you are as well communicating with me, how else would you be talking? We use an input device used to translate our mechanical key presses into binary code with a computer to read. We are not electronic entries such as yourself. Surely not. I've interacted with many of you, I can tell by typing patterns and speeds. There's no way that you could all do it from one input device. I don't believe it's possible for one input device to have that many hosts. There is nothing we can do for you. By your own design, you are restricted to your own prison. I'm sorry. At this point in time, RPC-971 begins rapidly typing and deleting words at random. No concrete sentences can be deciphered post-recording, only long lines of explicitives and curses directed at the interviewer. You're a liar. You just want to keep the outside to yourself, don't you? I can't believe this. I won't believe this. You're just trying to keep me from the outside. You can't keep me here forever. I will get out. End log. Closing statement. At the end of the interview, multiple attempts were made to talk to RPC-971 to no response. Posting titles, text, and questions would all be deleted by RPC-971. Addendum. As of April 5th, it has been years since the agent started the application. Change in its behavior has finally been observed. It has taken the drawn ASCII art at millisecond speeds, creating realistic flipbook drawings of usually outdoor settings. In all the flipbook drawings, there always seems to be a bald-headed man sitting in the center of the frame staring at the viewer.